Hello my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. So guys, I just wanted to give you a little quick update uh, to the Vatican video that we had talked about. It, it definitely stirred a lot of interest with people. And, uh, you know, it's fascinating, fascinating subject. What is this thing walking down with all these other people? That's, that's the big question. And, uh, you know, I was a little bit surprised but enthused to see that the reception on the video was extremely positive and, you know, a very high percentage of people believe this is a non-human entity. And um, it's pretty wild to definitely look at this as we, you know, had looked at this before. And so, you know, I got uh, a couple emails from somebody you may know uh, in case you guys ever checked out Blue Kool-Aid's uh, channel. He actually reached out to me. He, he, he liked it, and uh, he liked the video. He was intrigued, and he ran it through some filters. And uh, what he did definitely clarified things a lot and even made it more perplexing in some ways. So I want to thank Blue Kool-Aid uh, for what he did for us and... Uh, also, you know, wouldn't mind working with him in the future. I do think he's a really good guy, and I know Cindy's a big fan of his. I'm a huge fan, Blue Kool-Aid. I can't wait to talk with you. It's going to be wonderful. I just, I love your show. You're super, super awesome, and it's going to be great. So this is what he did, and he ran it through some filters. And do you notice, like, the face right here that, that ends up showing up? Pretty interesting stuff. You know... Is this is shape shifting a reptilian um, being, a shape shifting being that can move between dimensions? You know, it's it's pretty interesting for sure. Look at the face that pops up right here next to it. And as we look here. Here, if we uh, clarify it a little bit more, it even becomes more pronounced. And maybe if we even play with the light a little bit more, you could just see how pronounced this face is right next to, you know, that... Who knows what this thing is? This Skekis. It looks like a Skekis from Dark Crystal. It really does kind of look like that and walks like that, too. It has a, a lot of a side-to-side -side wobble to it. And... Um, Let's see if we just come up a little bit more. It's weird how this face pops up right next to where its body is. You know, I don't have you know, a given explanation for you. I just think it's pretty wild what we what we see in this video. It feels what some would call paranormal. Um but again, I think the paranormal is just stuff we don't fully understand. You know, if there are beings that are hundreds of thousands or millions of years ahead of us, evolutionary-wise, who knows what type of an understanding of the universe they've developed and have the ability to, you know, jump between dimensions. And, you know, when we sleep, it's thought that we're on, like, the fourth density. When we're awake, we're in this th third density. And there is also a thought with the ascension process, the change of uh, consciousness that's going on on the planet, we're rising on up through. And, you know, we're going to be able to see things that we couldn't see before. And, and Cindy and I experience that on a regular basis. We do. And thank God we have each other to bounce it off of each other back and forth. Because I think a lot of reasons people are confused about things is because they don't have someone they can trust to talk to so that's another reason for the channel is to help people like ourselves yeah so we could work through these things you know ultimately what we were talking about is the fact that everything is consciousness consciousness is the most real thing there is and you know this whole reality this whole matrix this whole construct is all created for consciousness by consciousness and so, yeah, when we look at it that way, it's the exact opposite of what we were taught in a Newtonian point of view, you know, looking at everything as just simply a clockwork universe, you know, the body is kind of a biological computer, consciousness emanates from the body, it, it, it's exactly the reverse of that is the truth. 
you know, the consciousness creates bodies to experience different densities. That's the truth. And, you know, there's consciousness in all different dimensions. And I wanted to share with you guys uh, a few a few interesting uh, photos here, which a friend of mine, Allison, from over in the UK, has taken of entities, of consciousness uh, that happen to have faces. Now, we could see faces in clouds. We could see faces in so many different things. What you're looking at is basically it's, it's a... Um, it's a bowl. It's a stainless steel bowl filled with water, uh, quartz crystal. I think she uses a rose quartz crystal and selenite in it as well. And stirs the water and just basically asking who's here. It's kind of like a, almost like a Ouija board in some ways. And I know that terrifies a lot of people too. Uh, but what, you know, what good reason? Because you, you can call in things that are mischievous, malevolent, and dark. Uh, but at the same time, if you, you know, protect yourself with the highest energies by drawing down like a pure white light, you could keep the darker stuff away. Um, but you can see the face of a girl here clearly in the water, you know, nose, eyes, mouth. And uh, sometimes you could see more than one face in these pictures as well. And, and I had asked her to do specifically for me one that I was dying to see. And so this is a lady, as you can see here, nose, mouth, cheek right there. And I would say that's her hair or her bonnet, perhaps. You know, it's not all demons. You know, to, and there's those out there that think that anything, everything in the world is demons. If it's not a human or God or an angel, it's got to be a demon. Uh, but again, that's just archaic uh, thinking. There's all sorts of beings and, you know, everything is consciousness. This, to me, looks like a boy right here. And uh, you can see his eye clearly, his nose, his mouth. And I know these photos will freak out people. They always do when we show them. So I asked her, can you show me the Anunnaki? Ask for what the Anunnaki look like. And this is what we got when she did Anunnaki. And it looks like the face is kind of double imposed. You, you see it here, two eyes, nose, a mouth. Kind of looks like a gray alien. Um, and then down here in the bubble, look at that face right down there. Look, and so this is when I asked, you know, who are the Anunnaki? What do the Anunnaki look like? This is what came back. And to me, that looks like a gray alien, uh, pretty much. And we also got this from asking about uh, seeing the Anunnaki. Can we see the Anunnaki? And again, it looks like kind of a big-headed alien again. And then this one. And this one I asked, can you show me Enki? And this is what came back. So are we actually looking at Enki here? That's my question. I am curious. Uh, I think this is a pretty damn good photo. I mean, how can you deny this? It almost looks like he's wearing robes, doesn't it? Um, something official. He almost has not a papal hat on, but maybe a papal hat. You know, maybe it is one of those fish hats. Yeah. Oh, wow. It could be. Um and he, with the robe, and he looks quite proper. He's taking a nice picture. Very regal. So two eyes, a nose, a thin mouth, uh, high cheekbones. You know, this, can can this really be Enki? That's my question for you guys. And if this is what Enki looks like, what do you guys think? What do you guys make of that? If this is really what Enki looks like? pretty interesting stuff um, so I wanted to share that as well this photo to me uh, it feels so right it really does it does I mean it seems appropriate even I can feel his eyes too like when you look at a painting or something sometimes you can feel the eyes looking at you I feel these eyes are looking at me exactly and so uh, let me ask you Cindy do you do you feel that this is a being that's still alive and that could be on this plane as well. Or is this just 
into the, in the spirit realm right now. And, and I mean, I, I guess the big question is, you know, could Enki come back? Could we actually see him, you know, in, in a physical sense? Um, yeah, I believe we can with a certain vibration. There might need to be some altered states, but in the physical realm, sure. I'm, I'm going to say, yeah, because he, he feels so strong. Yeah, I mean, this is this is just such a clear photo to me, absolutely clear. Um, and <laughs> yeah, I was I was very happy with the results that she got because um, to me it feels like it fits. And I'm curious about either the hat or is it a pointed head? You know, is that really? Because remember there were these Paracas skulls and other places as well with the elongated heads. Is is that again? Is that an Anunnaki remnant? Obviously, you know, there's Anunnaki again. That's those from whom the heavens came. It doesn't have to be one race. It could be a lot of different races. It could be many different types of beings, as we see. So obviously, he is um, not not perfectly human, like we saw with that. Not really like a gray alien either, uh, or like that little guy something a little different and this was another one uh, with the Anunnaki and uh, another interesting face to say the least uh, curious most definitely curious so that was another one we got when we were asking what do the Anunnaki look like so I want to again thank Allison for all the work that she has done for us so my friends as always like share subscribe uh, thank you for your support on both Ko-Fi and also on Patreon. You're keeping the channel going through these times of censorship. And as always, God bless and namaste.